everyone welcome to lost cause solutions in this following exercise i am going to discuss about how to apply mesh controls on the required regions to obtain accurate results solvex simulation helps you to analyze static structural behavior of your solvex parts and assemblies generally meshes are rarely uniform in practical problems so it would be very inefficient to uniformly reduce the mesh size in a large model because of a low stress concentration so we use different methods to control the mesh such as using smaller mesh elements at stress concentrated regions and larger mesh elements in the areas with little change of stress here we have a simple l bracket where we are going to fix at this particular region and we are going to apply load over this region so let's start the exercise creating a new static study name mesh one here you can observe that material is already applied since we have specified it while modeling our part or else we have a flexibility to change between now we will apply the boundary conditions we will fix the model over here and apply load on this face using selected direction because we want to apply the force in the negative y direction with a force of 900 newtons now let's mesh our model using curvature based mesh with the default settings For solving the present study, let's duplicate the study to create more five mesh, and then run all the studies at a time using batch run. Duplicate the mesh one study and name it as mesh two. Here we will apply a mesh control at this edge with the default element size and remesh the model. So now we can observe an increase in the mesh density at this particular edge. Again, let's duplicate the mesh two study and name it as mesh three. Here we will edit the mesh control and change the element size to zero point five and remesh the model. Now we can observe an enormous increase of elements over this edge. Now run all the studies and we will see the results. The mesh one has the maximum stress over the edge region with a maximum stress of 60 MPa. Let's check the stress of mesh two. It has got a maximum stress of 80 MPa. The mesh three with the highest mesh density has got a maximum stress of 187 MPa. Stresses, however, behave quite differently. Each subsequent mesh refinement produces higher stress results. According to the theory of elasticity, stresses in the sharp corner is singular or infinite. But the finite element model does not produce infinite stress results due to discretization errors. So, no matter how small a fillet must be included in the model, if we seek to find accurate stresses in or near that fillet. So, let's activate the fillet configuration and duplicate the mesh one study and name it as mesh four. Remesh the model with the default settings and solve the study. We have got a maximum stress of 97 MPa, and the stress results are non-uniform and not symmetric. Now let's apply the mesh control on the fillet region with an element size of 0.7 mm with an aspect ratio of 1.2, and remesh the model to increase the mesh density at the fillet location and run the study. Now we have got a maximum stress of 102 MPa, and the details of stress distribution are uniform and symmetrical. Let's compare all the studies and view the maximum stress controls. So we can observe that the fillet study has given the best result of 102 MPa and has a uniform stress distribution. 
Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel for latest updates. For further queries, please contact.